It's the Midweek Roundup. Hey folks, Johnny here with the Midweek Roundup again. It's just me all by my lonesome today, no special guests, but we have plenty of exciting images to show off that you guys have been doing in the community. So let's get started. First up we have Bill, Bill Harvett. He's done some fantastic uh, Halfling Star Wars. Uh, really interesting to see them in such a bright, vibrant red. Often we see Halflings in more sort of autumnal, natural tones. It's uh, really interesting just to see them really pop, really bright like that. And of course, uh, the basin is fantastic. A few flowers and, and that sort of proper meadow vibe like you'd expect from Halflings. Really, really top job. You can see some uh, aeronauts in the background there as well. Uh, so sorry, some edge grenadiers in the background there. He has also done some aeronauts, I believe. Uh, and then these guys are fantastic. As you've probably heard from me, I love really dirty, grimy paint schemes. So when I saw these, I was very excited. This is uh, the Casual Army Painter on Instagram. And they've done uh, four Enforcer jet bikes because the more jet bikes, the merrier. I'm sure if you saw the video uh, with Nick and his Enforcer Force for Firefight, he's got umpteen jet bikes, as many as he could possibly fit, and uh, very much of the opinion, more jet bikes is better. Um, it's a very similar scheme to our box art, the, the sort of the greys and the reds, um, but they've gone for a really dark, dingy, uh, battle-worn effect on it. It's, uh, it looks to be dry brushed, maybe a bit of uh, a bit of washing as well, just to, to really grind me it up. It's really, really nice, uh, nice paintwork. And then we've seen this model time and time again on our midweek roundups. It's obviously just one that takes to being painted beautifully really, really well. Mainly because it's a fantastic model. It's a stunning sculpt, um, but it's always exciting when we see so many great uh, paint jobs for this model. It's the uh, claw pack leader from the Veermin claw pack uh, set. David Strawbridge here has gone for a really vibrant, uh, almost fluorescent sort of, uh, sort of paint scheme, particularly on the, the claws, those, those greens, um, very sort of gungy, gooey um, to the claws, and then a and then nice gold to the uh, orange armour, just helps highlight it really, really. Uh, nice vibrant scheme but then the the rat itself is actually um dark black sort of sort of greys um that makes it nice contrast as well um fantastic job and then like the, i say the greens in the claws have been sort of brought through into the basing as well with the, the slime on the floor um it's really really fantastic job very uh very well done Talking of rats, Direct Misfire again on Instagram, it's a fantastic mutant rat fiend, really really nicely painted, um, the, the blood and, and the, the flesh and that sort of thing just looks so realistic, um, like you, I was going to say you'd believe it was a photograph but if, if it was a photograph this thing would be real and it would be haunting everyone's nightmares, so we're glad it's just paint. Really great job on the base as well, really big dynamic uh, base, big sort of diorama, um, the, moss and, and that sort of thing climbing up it as well really really nice just to, to add a little bit of extra texture to it it's a fantastic job going from dark and dingy we go into bright and vibrant again grant wyatt's uh hornet for his marauders his uh tiger hornet as we call it it's absolutely stunning um the the level of detail that's gone into this to to really get those stripes nice is uh, is absolutely fantastic and then the fun little uh, the mouth at the front as well really makes it very very orky very marauder um, it's really really nicely done um, imagine seeing that from afar on a gaming table you're going to want to go over and check it out because uh, it's, it's very very colourful he's also done a complete firefight uh, army for his marauders um, all the rest of the troops and the vehicles the mules those sort of thing have a very similar scheme, although not the Tiger, they are uh, equally as bright and vibrant, a really, really top job, so I suggest you go check him out. Now earlier this month we obviously got very excited about the uh, hard plastic uh, Empire of Dust skeletons, 
So we sent them out to a few influencers and a few have started to uh, post them out now. The Real Iron Hand, Heather, she's done a fantastic job on uh, these ones. I particularly like the, the cloth colour of, uh, of the robes. Really, really nice. And then always models look great when they're photographed on, on a scenic base like this. Um, really, really top job. And uh, Kieran from Kier's Minis, Minis has also done uh, some skeletons. He's gone for reds and golds. Really, really nice. A um, lot of uh, off-source lighting and um, non-metallic metal to this one. His paintwork is always top-notch. Really, really uh, was excited to see what he could do with, with these new hard plastics. And uh, he's, he's not failed at all. These are fantastic. Really, really nice. And then the weekend just gone, it was the TNT at Nashcon. They had a big room dedicated to Kings of War tournament, lots and lots of tables, including a table in a octagon in a cage. So it's the the marquee uh, game of each round would play in this uh, octagon in this cage match, which made it very exciting, very uh, very thematic. Imagine that obviously gave a an extra added. Uh, incentive to, to do well and, and make your way up to the uh, up to the octagon and uh, be very competitive once you're up there as you can see you've uh, this image here from Tim cat got very competitive and then lastly we've got uh, James Wapple and if you've seen any of his work before we featured him quite a bit in the uh, roundups over the past few months his armada boats are absolutely stunning they're second to none um, it's always really exciting to uh, to see what he can do with, with the latest fleet. So uh, he's got here the Northern Alliance fleet. Really, really nice, uh, nice color schemes, nice dark blues, really dark um, silvers to the, uh, to, the, to the hull as well. Um, and then that's reflected in the, uh, in the base, quite literally reflected in the base as well. Um, really nice, uh, nice job. And like how he's got the waves um, creating that bow at the front. It's, uh, Absolutely fantastic, and then the uh, the freehand on the sails as well is uh, is perfect, isn't it? It's uh, really fantastic. Well, that's it this week, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, been uh, some great inspiration this week. Some really top-notch paintwork across all the different gaming systems. Um, if you'd like to be featured, remember on all the socials, make sure you tag your miniatures, tag your paint jobs with uh, hashtag mymantic and I'll keep an eye out for them. I'm always looking throughout all the different social medias, uh, platforms to spy and see what you're all up to, see what you're painting, see if it's uh, able to be featured. So make sure you get your brushes out, get inspired and uh, get painting and we'll see you again next week. <laughs>